evening, thanks for joining us. I'm Don Nelson. Our big story, when every dollar counts, eking out a living in agriculture has never been easy. The future of farming could get some help from an unexpected machine. Robots created and tested in the classrooms at Northwest Nazarene University could help farmers bottom line in the not too distant future. Six on your side's Jessica Taylor tells us more. I spoke with a team of students and professors at NNU who developed IdaBot. It's a device that uses artificial intelligence to help farmers make more efficient and accurate spraying chemicals and determining fruit yields. And it could help save farmers valuable time and money. So that thing is called the IdaBot. Since 2012, Duke so Bolanin has been working on improving farming with technology. Several years and grant applications later, his students are working towards the possible solution, IdaBot. The first phase, navigation, second phase, finding the fruits, third phase, picking up the fruits. The goal of IdaBot is for farmers to use it however they need, like for spraying chemicals or harvesting fruit with a robotic arm attachment. Students are currently working on the second phase, getting IdaBot to estimate early fruit yields. We're giving a prediction of the fruit, but we're also giving them, or the goal is to give them more information on where the, their trees are growing best. They're using artificial intelligence to train the robot to determine where the fruit actually is. We had to find data points in our sample pictures of what the blossom RGB colors are and what not blossoms are. Eventually, they're trying to transfer that video feed into an app. Everyone has phones these days and smartphones, so we're trying to just get it to the app store and so they could just download it and then just take pictures of the trees they want to get the estimated crop yield for. Determining fruit yields early is vital for both storage and economic purposes for farmers. What they have told me is if you market your fruit late in the season, the prices of the fruit drop by 20%. It's still not quite the season for IdaBot to be in the orchards, but students don't plan to stop until they see their work in action. I want it to work and uh, be practical for farmers, not just for them, but also for us to say that we did something that was successful and um, worked. The team tells me a prototype for the capability to actually harvest the fruit could be possibly ready in three or four years. Reporting live in studio, Jessica Taylor, six on your side.